In this video, I tried to fly the plan created with the low-level navigation tools I'm working on. Just FYI, the last time I piloted a fighter jet for more than a few minutes was back in Lomac, almost 20 years ago. After that, I spent 11 years exclusively on the K-50, and since 2019, I have been a dedicated backseater. There are, therefore, multiple errors, especially in nailing and maintaining a good turn rate. Overall I had fun, surprisingly enough, although I felt slightly overwhelmed by the need to check terrain, heading, TARS, timing and geographical references. Furthermore, any normal mission would require scanning the outside for threats and targets. This is a lot to digest, especially for someone not used to piloting. The audio quality is not great, as I noticed only later that the microphone I used had a very low volume setting, so I added some comments at the top of the video. set. Six seconds. Fifty five should be able to somewhere here. Five seconds old. No, Thirty-five. and three seconds in the shadow. Forty-seven. One minute should be close to the. This village is here. Fifty-six. Thirteen minutes in the fire. Should be close. Power lines. Oh, there. Ah, maybe too much to the left. 
and external return to 0 and 6. Speed what was that? Speed was low. Can be more. Let's see. Yep. So long, fast enough, so long, fast enough. That this build up here is not the one that is totally to the right. Well, the turn should be at 119, so 15 seconds more, but I'm fast, it's 120. Also. Turn to zero one seven. That's the value where I was, where I'm supposed to be. That's the value where I'm supposed to be. Well, easy to check. 30 seconds, build up air. I can pop up on top of the city uh, to the next city. Outskirts of the city, I mean, because the drift is not too awful for the very first test. I 
yeah, yeah. It's definitely the worst. Cool. The first leg was probably the simplest, relatively short and channeled through a valley. Here I wondered whether following terrain or heading, and I arrived slightly off track at the turn point. The terrain required a lot of attention, and I relied much more on the digital true airspeed indicator than the gauge. The second leg was the most complex, with very few geographical references usable at a distance and a continuous turn that I ended up butchering. Roads and streets are valuable references, but they do not protrude vertically and work much better as landmarks for higher altitude flights. The third leg was relatively short. Note the small lakes shown in TACVIEW's map and how they do not appear in DCS. This is why I decided to make my own. The last leg should have been straightforward, but I misidentified the correct valley and did not trust my instruments. This decision drove me off track, not by much, but enough to miss the planned egress position. All things considered, I'm quite happy about the outcome, considering I haven't flown a virtual fast jet in 20 years. This simple test has raised lots of interesting points I will discuss going forward as I dive deep into the good stuff, ergo planning, routes, loadouts, tactics, and so on. Thanks for watching, and take care.